Hi there, you can save loads of time in DaVinci Resolve when you're editing a video that has background music and people talking over the top of it. If you want that background music to get louder when people stop talking and automatically get quieter when people start talking. This is sometimes known as audio ducking. To do this, we use something called sidechain compression. A compressor is an FX tool that you can add in and it automatically controls the volume of the track that you add it to. But you can actually configure a compressor to automatically lower the volume depending on what's happening in another track. Let me show you how to do this. So here we've got a couple of tracks. We've got this voice track. If I solo this, I would suggest that there's two approaches. This is me talking. And we've got this music track with some background music. If I play these together, I suggest that there's two approaches to creating a clear The music's competing with me talking and you can't really hear what I'm saying very well. What we could do is we could manually add keyframes to either the clip or at the track level and then manually bring down the volume whenever someone's talking. Arnold suggests that there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. So you can still hear the music, it's just a lot quieter. That's going to be really time consuming and tedious if you've got to do it for everything, every time someone's talking. So I'm just going to undo those changes, get rid of those keyframes, and we'll set up this sidechain compression instead. The first thing we need to do is open up the compressor on the vocal track. So what I'm going to do is double click this dynamics section here, and that's going to open up the compressor for the voice track. I'm just going to leave this as the default settings, but I am going to come down here and click this send button. Notice at the minute we've got all of the tracks visible here, but if I click this send button and expand this across, you can see now we've got this automatic bus to added. By clicking that send button, it's also added this bus output down here. What this is doing is it's sending the audio not only to the main bus, bus one, which is what gets output to the video, but it's also sending the audio, the audio of the person talking into this bus two. At the minute, this is not going to do anything. So we're just going to close the compressor for the vocal track. But if I play this back now, there's two approaches to creating a clear... You can see down here that we got some signal going into the side chain from the vocals. It's the music track that we actually want to make quieter when people are talking. So we're going to open up the compressor this time on the music track. We'll just double click here. And now this is giving us the compressor for the music track like you can see in this header. If I just play this back and I'm just going to solo the music, we can turn on the compressor here. And you can see this compression happening, but it's listening to the music and not the voice. To make it listen to what's on the side chain channel, you can simply click this listen button here. Now, if I play this back once again, notice we're not getting any gain reduction. And that's because we're currently soloing the music here. If I turn off solo a small vision to and reduce this threshold, now we're getting some compression. Also, if I just start playing this back again, notice what happens in the sidechain meter here. There's two approaches to creating a clear vision. Small it's telling us the audio coming into the sidechain, which we're listening on in this compressor. What you need to do now is change some of these compressor settings to get the sound that you want. The threshold controls when the music will automatically be ducked based on how loud the voice is on the other track. Yes, but there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. The ratio controls how much compression or how much the music volume will be reduced in response to people talking. Try about between four and five to one here. Let's have a listen to this again. Arnold suggests that there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. So you could hear in this section here, when the talking stops, the music gets louder. Broad and then zoom. If you want to learn how to make your audio really stand out in your videos, make sure you check out my Fairlight course using the first link in this video's description or by scanning this QR code. All right, back to this mix. If I play this back again, just listen to what happens. Arnold suggests that there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. You can kind of hear the music going up and down even when we have very short pauses in the person talking here. So in that case, you need to play with some of these settings such as attack. And this is how quick the music volume will be lowered when the talking starts. If you make this really short, then the automatic ducking will happen as soon as people start talking. Arnold suggests that there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. But you kind of heard a little warbly sound here. Two approaches to creating a clear Because that's the music going up and down, up and down. Next, you want to adjust this hold setting so the music doesn't fluctuate too much. It kind of smooths out any little jitters in the music volume. 
suggest that there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. You can also tweak this release. Suggest that there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. And you can see now we don't have that kind of pumping sound between each minor pause. Arnold suggests that there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. You'll need to tweak all of these settings to get the exact sound that you want depending on the person talking. I'll just close this for a second. You'll also need to set the volume of this music when there's no talking in the overall mix. So I'm just going to fine tune these settings so you can hear what it sounds like when it's finished. Arnold suggests that there's two approaches to creating a clear vision. Small to big or broad and then zoom. The small to big method is exactly what it sounds like. Just create a small... The more time you spend fine tuning these parameters, the better you're going to get it to sound. You might also be able to make it a bit easier for yourself if you also apply some compression to the vocals itself, just so you've got a bit more of a controlled dynamic range for the side chain to work with. The side chain that was just automatically added for us was an example of a bus in Fairlight, and buses can do loads of things such as making it quicker to change the volume of multiple tracks at once, or even add effects to multiple tracks using a single effects instance. That's what you'll learn about in this next video. Please subscribe, I'd appreciate that, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.